Hi everyone, it's your beloved friend Sindra here again. Today we are going to do two fragrance reviews together. Yeah, double fragrance review back. Yeah, one is this one. I guess the brand is called Mobusing. Mobusing. Oh yeah, I have no idea. Yeah. So one is from this house, Mobusing. It's Promise Me. And the other one is this. Yeah, Nico Ricci, Nico Ricci. Yeah, same as the name. Okay, why are we doing these two fragrances together? Yeah, I have my own reason. Yeah, they are like that simple. Yeah, okay, let's look at the bottle here first. Yeah, this one, Nico Ricci. Absolutely, no doubt, without hesitation. Great, beautiful design stuff. Yeah, okay, the box. The box is you know, also great too. It's very oriental because it's got the feather of a peacock. Yeah, surprise me. That has nothing to do with bottle inside. Yeah, the bottle is, yeah. When I saw this, I think, yeah, the bottle is amazing, stunning. It's so great design. Yeah, it's like Apple Tower. Yeah, later I realized that this is like Apple Tower. But my friend said, yeah, is it Apple Tower? I think this is like I know plant. <laughs> so, who knows, yeah. I think the 1.7 ounces, this size, yeah, this is definitely Apple Tower. If you bought that version with 3.4 ounces, yeah, that's definitely a panel plug. Yeah, but I like this bottle, no offense, yeah, I really like this bottle. The bottle is stunning, yeah. And it's not shaky if you, you know, put it on a desk, yeah. Okay, so this bottle, yeah, this bottle is... When I bought this one, I don't think this bottle is fancy. I think this bottle is like, yeah, great design, you know, particular. It's like a lock. Yeah, you can take it like this. This is like, yeah, one thing. You can't tell this one apart and you can spray it from here, you see? Yeah. And this is a, just a decoration, nothing else. I have tried that. Okay, so this is the bottle of Promise Me. But I have a friend, my BFF, and she said this is the most beautiful perfume bottles of all your collections. Yeah. I doubt her taste, you know that. <laughs> okay. So that's the bottle. And the box of this one. And the box of this one promised me. Extremely big. When I received this one, I said, wow, this is only like 3 ounces. Yeah, this is not 3.4 ounces. This is only 3 ounces. I think, wow, <laughs> you see, same size as my face, yeah. I have a horse face, yeah. Pe because I like Sarah Jessica Parker, people always call me Sindri Jessica Parker, yeah, that's a joke. Yeah, so, you see, big one, yeah. A really big one, who doesn't love big? <laughs> okay, that's the, basically the bottle, okay. So that's basically the bottle and the box of those two perfumes. And see, let's get to the smell. The smell of this one. Uh, I bought this one because it is, yeah, again on sale. Yeah, very cheap. I think I bought it like 15 US dollars. Yeah, 15 US dollars for this size. Yeah, 1.7 ounces. And back to that time, I have no knowledge of perfumes and about celebrity perfumes. And I checked the note, it's like very woody, earthy, patchouli. And I think the note of this one is basically amber, uh, vanilla, plum, uh, patchouli, and some earthy, herbal, woody note. So I think, wow, great, great stuff. That's my thing. I'm gonna buy it. So I bought it. Yeah. And when I received this, when I sprayed it, I said, oh my god, what a mistake. Yeah. Sweet patchouli, sweet amber, sweet vanilla, sweet plum, everything is sweet. This is too sweet for me, extremely sweet, yeah. But on the plus side, I think this fragrance helps me realize that, that there are kinds of, you know, different kinds of patchouli in all kinds of fragrances. Just like patchouli in Midnight Poison, it's dry and it's warm with the amber. And patchouli in other fragrances like Gucci Rush, it's another thing. And in this one, it's totally, you know, sweet, just sweet. Yeah, nothing else. Yeah. So, what a disappointment. 
So if you are looking for, I think for me this one is totally vanilla based smell. All I can smell is vanilla and uh, maybe a little bit amber. But I can definitely smell some plum, yeah, the sour part from this fragrance. Yeah. Okay, the smell of this one. <laughs> uh, I have nothing to say about this one. Uh, this is cheap. Yeah. 20, 21 US dollars. Yeah, I can't remember very clearly. Yeah. Uh, I think this is. Oh, surprise. You can see Promise Me here. I just realized that. <laughs> I bought this one because you know I was looking for something like 25 US dollars to 30 US dollars to get another discount so in this price range so I bought this one I think in total the final price of this one is like 22 22 23 US dollars yeah okay I bought this one and I think yeah bottle looks good and more bouncing yeah what I try okay so I check on Fragrantica and there's few pieces of reviews there, you know, just I think three or four pieces of reviews. So I checked the note, it's like rose and patchouli. So I think, yeah, what a try. Yeah. So, but the similarities, you know, this fragrance reminds me of wah wah wah, you know, there's a column there. Uh, it's Armani C. Yeah, I have smelled Armani C. You know, I think that's yeah, sweet. <laughs> sweet, just sweet. Yeah, just. The serum fragrance like this one, yeah. So I'm not that interested in Armani C. I took for granted. I think this one is rosy and patchouli. So I think well, it may be bitter. It may be you know more flower vibes than C. So I bought this one, and when I test it, oh my god, <laughs> horrible, just horrible. Yeah. So this one is a stronger version of C. I think sweeter sweeter yeah there's no vanilla on the scent so when i bought it i think oh, yeah no vanilla i should try that yeah so i'm gonna blame for the person who make the notes of frank Rajaka. beware i'm gonna find you okay so <laughs> there's no vanilla when the notes there oh uh, uh, there's no vanilla on the frank Rajaka page of this fragrance promise me so i bought it so i think huge mistake yeah all i can smell is vanilla here just like this one, yeah. Especially the dry down there, practically 100% alike. Especially this one has a little plum, so a little bit sour, but almost the same. So this one is like, yeah, when I spray this one, where's the rose? Where's the patchouli? The name, Nikorichi, Nikorichi. <laughs> when we talk about Nikorichi, we always think about Paris Hilton, right? <laughs> but you know, about the fragrances, I think this bottle is so well designed that it can defeat all the other Paris Hilton fragrances, you know? Paris Hilton, she has several famous perfumes that is a uh, hot seller all the time when I, you know, try to buy perfumes and their recommendations, recommendations, blah blah blah. So, but the bottle is so tacky and looks so cheap, so have no comparison with this one, yeah. I can still remember what I saw on YouTube, you know, Nico Ricci trying to smell her fragrance on this shirtless man on Ellen show. Have a try if you haven't seen that. And this one promised me, oh, you see the name? Ah, oh my god, I think that's it. Look at the tube here. Can you see the tube? Just look at the tube here. I can't believe, you know. A well manufactured company, a jewelry product company would make a tube like this? Why? Why not make it straight? You know? Or at the first time you're gonna know that no straight boys is going to buy this one? I think Promise Me is like, yeah, a beautiful name to attract those innocent people to buy this one just like me. Okay, that's all for today's progress review. So this one, sweet vanilla, yeah, cannot smell the patchouli, cannot smell the rose, definitely a pass. And this one, yeah, bought it because of the, you know, bottles. If you're looking for something to wear out for nightclubs, you know, this one is, yeah, good. Because, you know, that's basically a nice scent for me, this one is. Uh, when I bought this one, I was expecting this to smell like Fancy Nights by Jessica Simpson, you know, because they got M, uh, patchouli, blah, blah. So definitely, I'm not, definitely not the same thing, you know, totally different things. 
So this one for me, a pass two. Bye bye. Yeah. If you like collecting bottles, yeah, maybe this is a wise decision. Yeah. Okay, two parts for today's fragrance review. Bye bye. What a sad day, tragic day for me. Bye bye.